वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर पॉइंट फोर जीरो सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ स्टील बार एंड एल्यूमिनियम बार आर बाउंडेड टुगेदर टू फॉर्म अ कंपोजिट बीम एज शोन द मॉडल ऑफ इलास्ट्रिसिटी फॉर एल्यूमिनियम इज सेवेंटी गेगा पासकल एंड फॉर स्टील टू हंड्रेड गेगा पासकल नोइंग दैट द बीम इज बैंड अबाउट हॉरिजेंटल एक्सिस बाई अ कपल ऑफ मूवमेंट फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड न्यूटन मीटर डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इन एल्यूमिनियम एंड स्टील so you can see this is aluminium portion and this is steel and that is bonded together to form a composite beam and this beam is bended about a horizontal axis by a couple of 1500 newton meter so you have to find the uh, maximum stress in aluminium and maximum stress in steel so this is as this question is a uh, of composite beam so we will take we will choose use aluminium as reference material so when you choose aluminium as reference material so for that we will have n is equal to 1 clear and for steel for steel n will be equal to e of steel divided by e of aluminium so e of steel is uh, 200 giga pascal 200 divided by e of aluminium is 70 so it will give you 2.8571 it means that we will not change the height of uh, steel of 40 but all the dimensions will and will be increased n times so let this is n is equal to 1 for aluminium this is number 1 and this is number Two n is equal to two point eight five seven one. Now, uh, it is very difficult to find the uh, centroidal axis of this uh, composite beam. So we know that this centroidal axis, the uh, the neutral axis passing through centroid, why not is equal to um, sum of uh, n times e y not bar divided by sum of all area n a what we will do is that we will draw um, a table in which we will mention part its area in millimeter square n a y not bar n into e y not bar clear so for part 1 you can see that part 1 is this one this one is part 1 its width height is 20 mm and width is 30 so 20 into 30 will be 600 so area of part 1 is 600 similarly for part 2 we will have this area which is 40 by 30 and that will be equal to 1200 So if you multiply n one with a, so it will be equal to six hundred, and if you multiply n two with twelve hundred, so it will be three four two eight point five, and its unit will be also square millimeter. Now why not bar? So why not bar one? If you choose the uh, lower is a reference line, so its half of twenty is equal to ten. so this 10 plus 40 this total will give you y y not bar 1 and that will be equal to 50 so i will write it as 50 and the unit will be millimeter similarly y2 will be its half which will be equal to 20 so y2 will be 20 again you can see that uh, this column is na into y so na is this one and y bar is this one so 60 multiplied by 50 will be equal to 30000 so 30000 again for n2 it will be this multiplied by this and that will give you 68570 now if you sum it so it will give you 
नाइन एट फाइव सेवन जीरो सम ऑफ दिस प्लस दिस विल गिव यू दिस एन सम ऑफ एन ए एरिया विल गिव यू फोर जीरो टू एट पॉइंट फाइव नाउ यू हैव बोथ दिस वैल्यू सो यू कैन पुट इट इन दिस फार्मूला सो आई विल पुट सम ऑफ ऑल दिस एन ए अपर टर्म दिस टर्म इज दिस वन layer and this term is equal to this one so i will write um, 98570 divided by 4028.5 will give you 24.47 mm so it means that you are a cent neutral axis for this composite beams will be at a distance of 24 mm from the base so this will be your neutral axis and this will be equal to y bar y bar is distance of um, y bar is uh, neutral axis uh, or centroidal uh, neutral axis of this beam now what we will do is that we will find the moment of inertia so moment of inertia i for two of the beam you can see that this is number 1 and this is number 2 <coughs> so for number 1 um, i will write 1 over 12 1 over 12 its breadth its breadth is 4 30 and height is 20 clear so 1 over 12 bh cube so 30 into 20 cube plus since you can see this area is located is away from this neutral axis so definitely it will have certain d and this d will be equal to y not bar minus y not so i will write also add a column of for d so d will be in millimeter so for first portion d will be equal to i will write d is equal to y not bar minus capital y bar so y not is this one 50 minus y bar is 24.47 and that will give you 25.53 similarly for 2 it will be equal to 20 minus 20 minus 24.24.47 i will also explain it will be equal to 4.47 mm so area of this is equal to 600 ad square by using parallel theorem so 60 into d is 25.53 so 25.53 whole square and there that will give you i1 so when you calculate it i1 will be equal to 411.07 into 10 to the power 3 mm power 4 now for i2 we know that i2 is equal to uh n2 times 12 b2 h2 b2 is 30 so 30 into h is 40 mm so 40 cube i why i have taken in 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 this part i have taken n is equal to 1 so assume n is equal to 1 so it will not affect so for n2 or for the second part n2 is 2.85 so 2.85 multiply plus area of this which is equal to this one you can see this is 3428. Five and its d is four point four seven square. So when you solve it, it will give you five to five point six four into ten to the power three cubic uh, millimeter power four. 
now you can see this is centroidal axis and uh, the half of this will be 20 the half of this part 2 will be 20 clear so this distance is equal to d and that is equal to y which is 24.47 minus 20 will give you 4.47 okay now we have both i i1 so we know that the total moment of inertia of composite beam is equal to i1 plus i2 so 936.71 into 10 to the power 3 millimeter power 4 if you add i1 with i2 it will give you 936 point and in term of meter it will be equal to 5.64 into 10 to the power 3 millimeter 4 no, not not sorry 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 in meter i will have to convert it into meter so it will be 936.71 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter 4 now this is the i moment of inertia of this composite beam when converted to a single material beam that is composed of aluminium okay again we will move further we have been given moment is equal to 1500 newton into meter and we know that stress sigma is equal to minus n into m y divided by i so first we will for aluminium for aluminium we know that n is equal to one and uh, for n aluminium is one and maximum y which is the maximum distance from neutral axis because stress is maximum at the outside from the neutral axis clear so this will be y and this y will be equal to 60 minus 24.47 millimeter and that is equal to 35.53 millimeter and y in meter equal to 0 0.0355 meter i will show you here you can see that this is y clear and this total distance is 60 so if you subtract 60 uh, if you subtract y value from 60 it will give you a maximum distance from neutral axis to the topmost so you can just put in the formula in the formula for aluminium maximum stress for aluminium is equal to n is 1 minus n is 1 m is 1500 y is 0 0.0355 divided by i i is 936.71 into 10 to the power minus 9 so from here you will get it minus 56.9 into 10 to the power 6 pascal or you can say that maximum stress for aluminium is equal to minus 56.9 mega pascal so this is the answer of our first part now we will move towards second part for second part for steel for steel we have take calculated n is equal to 2.8571 what will be the y so y will be minus 24.7 millimeter and in meter it will be minus 0 0.02447 meter how so we will see that you can see that this is the neutral axis y which is 24.47 and maximum distance from neutral axis to topmost is again this y which is minus 24.47 because this is down from the neutral axis so you will just put the value maximum stress for steel is equal to minus 2.8571 into movement which is 1500 and y is minus 0 
टू फोर फोर सेवन डिवाइड बाय आई इज़ नाइन थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन वन इंटू टेन एस टू पावर माइनस नाइन अगेन वेन यू सॉल्व दिस यू विल गेट मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इन स्टील पोर्शन विल इक्वल टू वन वन हंड्रेड इलेवन पॉइंट नाइन इंटू टेन पावर सिक्स पास सो मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इन स्टील कम्स आउट टू बी वन हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व मेगा पास्कल एंड दिस इज द पॉजिटिव वैल्यू सो फ्रॉम दैट वी विल गेट दैट द लोअर पोर्शन इफ यू ड्रॉ द ब्रीम लाइक दिस क्लियर सो एंड देर इज अ मूमेंट सो इट मीन्स दैट अपर पोर्शन विल बी इन कंप्रेशन वाइल लोअर पोर्शन विल बी इन टेंशन it will be like the beam will behave like this this is neutral axis so lower portion will be in tension and stress in that will be 112 mega pascal while upper portion will in compression and it will be minus 56.9 minus means that this is in compression and plus this mean is in tension i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching